Alright then, hello everybody, my name is Dajum Kia. Flipping the heck. I ha I don't have an intro. Dang it. Hello everybody, my name is Dajum Kia, and welcome back to another tutorial Thursday video. Yes, I can pronounce my THs right, I am sorry for my last couple slip ups. Now today we're going to be talking about this puppy, the Breach Bomb. And the reason because that is we're going to be, we going to be, we going to be talking about we're going to be talking about breaching stuff. And we're going to put this guy in the helm so he can get a little bit of up and experience. Because that's what I am I am actually playing. Because FTL is an awesome game. But what we are going to be doing, we are going to be showing off some of the functions and how to come back breaches. Now, if you are in a slug strip and you get breached in your med bay, which would suck, don't worry. Because the slug strip has a special thing, which is very, very cool. If you go into your social, you go into equipment, slug repair gel. So I'm trying to point with my mouse here. Slug ships extract a thick gel that automatically repairs any hull breaches. Not the um, slugs, mind you. But luckily, what these do is like any breach that breach that comes onto your ship is just automatically healed. Slight loss of oxygen, and then you can just walk right in. And oh, see right there, he's got 98 health. Luckily, he's in the med base, so we'll power that whenever it gets up. But yeah, that is a very cool feature. But in my personal opinion, I find it useless. The fact is you don't get breached bombed quite a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that. By the way, I have a pretty nice loadout here if you don't know. I'm just going to stick with the, either these four or I'm going to sub in the Ion Blast. Now, something to note, if we turn both of these guys off, we turn on the breach bomb. You cannot target your own ship with the breach bomb. Beach bomb. This is a missile. This is a breach mi missile. And it costs a lot more power. And the only plus side to it is that it actually... Um, what am I thinking about? The only plus side to the um, breach missile is that it actually does hull damage. But I personally do not normally use hull damage because I like to kill the actual people, which is why I like this anti-bio beam. Ah, uh, why do I have such a good loadout? Now, now that we have that, um, now that we have the slug repair joke on, if we bomb our own ship again, It's not healing. Now, obviously this will happen on any airship, so this will be much better to emulate fighting breaches. Now let's say your guys have been like doing their thing for a while, and you know, they've been fighting about you just finished your battle, you check out to get your guys to the med bay, bam, there's a breach there. What do you do? Well, if you have to scrap for it, I definitely recommend pumping some power into your oxygen. And we won't need that power bar. Pumping your um, oxygen up is very useful because now all um, this room is getting more oxygen into it at a time. Now clearly that's not enough to come back to breach. So what you can do, you can send in preferably healed um, soldier. And if your med base down, definitely fix that first. You fix it just two cuts, I think. Oh god, I'm going to have to... This is going to be weird. So we'll send our weapons guy down there to see what's going on because I don't actually have sensors. And it shouldn't be... But if I open this door, now you see the rooms are sharing air. That should fix. Oh, you know what? I only have three. If I have three doors open, because no matter how small the breach actually is, fun fact, it sucks out the same amount of air. So, a bit annoying when you're trying to fix it, but if you air out the rooms around it, and this is definitely my usual way of um, doing it, then yeah, everything's good. Now, one of the most annoying things is having a breach bomb go off in your med bay. Because now that the oxygen is flooding out of there, you can't really do much. And my guys are now injured, so I, I might have just keeled myself. So, something I usually do, I pump the oxygen up to two. And I believe if you have it on two, you'll just need to open three rooms and it'll stabilize itself. If you have it on one, I believe you need to open five. And... This should count. Actually, there's a load of rooms down here that are open. So this shouldn't destabilize ever. Yeah. Now, I'm curious. If I put... Oh, it destabilized. Huh. Is that because I closed this door? It shouldn't. Oh, no, you... Oh. Oh. I should probably not let my guys die. So this is an interactive learning experience for me. So what we'll do, we'll drain 
all of these rooms in hopes of not getting our men killed. Alright, so that is definitely not working. You definitely need level 2 oxygen to combat it. Now, are you going away? So that went away. Do, do, do. I really should have tested this more, but you know. I I always believe in learning on the go. And that's totally why I didn't do any research and not because I was purely lazy. Now we are having a problem here. It doesn't look like the air is draining out of these two or is um Is this safe? Is this safe? Oh no it's not. I might have just set myself up for death right here. Ooh. My oxygen isn't draining, but it's not going up. So it looks like that. W Did I put a second breach? I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna have to put in full oxygen in this, aren't I? There we go. Wow! I just ended up having to waste all my money on breaches. <laughs> this isn't really a good tutorial, but it's definitely interesting. Wow, I need. Full oxygen, wow. That was like two levels of shields to like, let's heal these guys up. Oh my God, let's just quit this. This game is ended up terrible. Uh, my name is Nudgem Key. I certainly hope you understand the concept and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in another video.